the number of anti-Semitic hate crimes reported to police has soared in some parts of the UK. Indeed, in some parts, in some capitals, it's increased by more than 50 per cent. A number of the largest forces in the country are recording rising numbers of offences against Jewish people and their property. In London, the total more than doubled in a year. There are also increases in Greater Manchester, Merseyside, West Midlands and West Yorkshire. The crimes reported included assault, harassment, arson and criminal damage. Separate figures released today show there was a 53% increase in the number of anti-Semitic incidents recorded by the charity the CST, that's the Community Security Trust, in the first half of this year. Now, the CST monitors anti-Semitism, and it recorded 473 incidents from January to June. That includes 44 violent assaults, good Lord, 35 instances of damage to Jewish property, 88 cases of abusive threats. On social media, this comes at a time of heightened alert among Jewish communities after a terror, a terror attacks elsewhere in Europe. You will recall a kosher supermarket was targeted in the Paris attacks in January and the following month a Jewish man was killed near a synagogue in Copenhagen. So what is going on? Well, let's speak with Jonathan Sasha Doty, who's Director of Communications for the Campaign Against Antisemitism, who joins me now. What lies behind this, do you think? Good morning. Good morning. Well, as we are marking the first anniversary of the foundation of the campaign against anti-Semitism, we're distressed to see these new figures. And we are asking exactly that question, what lies behind them? If these figures reflect an increase in reporting of anti-Semitic incidents, then we should be worried that until now, people were suffering in silence. And only now are we getting a more complete image of the levels of anti-Semitism in the UK. Uh, community groups like ours have raised awareness of the problem and encouraged victims to speak out and inform the police. But these figures almost certainly point to an actual rise in incidents, with Jewish people having been targeted and killed around Europe by Islamist extremists. So now really is the time for the root causes of this racism against Jewish people to be dealt with. What are they? What are the root causes? <laughs> we can look towards the speech that Prime Minister David Cameron gave uh, about extremism and how he and his government plan to tackle it for some clues into that, I think. Um, particularly, we can see that he referenced in that that many involved in terrorism, he said, begin with hearing about the so-called Jewish conspiracy and then develop into hostility to the West and fundamental liberal values. So when we think about that sort of thing, we can see that the ideas are there from the beginning in an ideology which accuses Jews of all sorts of conspiracy-led theories of trying to control the world and such like. Um, and those are the things that need to be dealt with so that Jewish people, who are really the canary in the mine shaft, they're the, the people who are attacked first, but Western values and British values will be what comes next. So those sorts of ideas need to be stamped out from the beginning, and we need to make sure that the places that they're being spread are targeted effectively. Um, is Britain becoming less tolerant? I don't think Britain is becoming less tolerant, and I think most people listening to this will not recognise the idea of an intolerant or anti-Semitic Britain, which is a very important factor in how we're going to deal with this sort of thing. Uh, it, reporting of anti-Semitism has increased since our own research in our anti-Semitism barometer in January. That revealed that 45% of British Jews feared they may have no future here. Now, when we also consider that 72% of anti-Semitic incidents, according to an EU study, uh, go unreported, uh, the alarming figures we're reading today are ever more alarming. But it's not hopeless, because as I said, I think that British society is by and large a tolerant one which doesn't uh, believe in these extremist views. And we've been working very closely at the campaign against anti-Semitism with the Home Secretary, Theresa May. Uh, we had a meeting with her, the Home Office Special Advisor, Director of Public Prosecutions, and we've been pushing... All right, the line's gone again, and, and rudely, I'm going to seize that as my opportunity. I do apologise, but we, we can't really battle with that any longer. You have made your points, and I'm most grateful. Jonathan Sashidoti, thank you. Director of Communications for the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism. <laughs>